Tommy from Nerds and Makers here uh, with a little project I have to do. It is come time. Um, my Elegoo Mars here, my trusty Elegoo Mars, as I, I have finally worn out my first FEP film. As you can see, uh, it's, it's been through the ringer. Been printing like mad since I got this thing five months ago, and uh, it has finally given out. There's a little tiny hole in it somewhere. And uh, it leaks. A little puddle of uh, resin keeps ending up on my screen over there, and you really can't have that. And I've had a couple prints fail. So, it is time to replace the FEP, the FEP film, the magic film that makes uh, resin printing happen. Uh, if you don't know, this sits in the bottom of the El Gumars, or you know, similar mass SLA printers. And this is really kind of the secret to making it work. The resin sits in here, and the light is exposed from below, and the print bed, or the platform, goes into the goo, and gets exposed, and it lifts out, and comes back with just slightly less, and then exposes again. You just have to do that over and over, and you'll slowly pull a part out. Um, but every time the build platform pulls off of it, it this has to kind of snap. You can hear it. Sounds like a drum. So, uh, to make, make it very clear, this is not a tutorial video. I am just simply documenting the process. This is my first time doing this. I won't claim to be any kind of expert. As usual, I don't know what I'm doing. But, I figured I'll document the process, so I'm sure some of you you're probably finding this video because it's time for you to do this for your first time. So let's let's find out together, shall we? So the process is simple. You have to undo these screws, pull out the frame, undo a lot of screws from the other side, and you replace the film, which I have in here, and uh, you tighten it all back up. So step one is to remove these screws. So that's step one. I'm going to pull the frame out. Let's turn it over and pop it out. Yep. And uh, first thing we need to do is get things clean. I have a rag here, some alcohol. I should probably be wearing a respirator while I do this, but then you will be able to understand it. See how loose that is. So I need to get something that's about that loose. I will use a piece of foam. That should work. Let's see if that gets a similar amount. Yeah, that works. So that's standing by. And the next step is to remove all these screws from the other side. Alright, so now we can pull the frame apart. There's the two pieces. Again, I'm going to give it a wipe down. Help it off. 91% alcohol because 99 is a little hard to find in this area. There it is. There's the old step. <laughs> it has had it. <laughs> it has served me well. Grab our new piece of fluorinated. Ethylene pro propylene? I think it's the term for it. Protective 
film on both sides. Alright, so that goes over that. I realize that the edges of that are impossible to see right now, but you'll have to take my word for it. There's a piece of clear plastic right there. And then to pierce through, you just need something to punch a hole in it. They're not pre-perforated. So I'm going to do the corners first. Punch a hole right there. And put a screw in. tight enough, not super tight. We'll go back around the entire thing when it's done and tighten it like a, like you would wheel lugs. Drop a screw. locked it into place. You can see that there's quite a bit of slop in there and that's its final position. I'm just going to go around and systematically do all the rest of the screws. slightly bigger holes, so I'll just punch it while I have it up here. Go all the way through. Alright, so that goes down in there. In this one, it is far more critical to uh, do the, the tightening evenly all the way around. Alright, so that's in. Clean, tight, like a drum. Now we just trim off the excess. Carefully, so as not to injure ourselves. really no big deal uh, it's just a lot of screws just be patient and uh, methodical and clean and uh, you can replace yours no problem if I can do it you can do it all right catch you around